financing and capitalizing your international business. Because foreign markets have a number of variables and differences from domestic markets, international business experts agree that your company's venture into globalization should be well capitalized. You may receive the necessary capitalization from the country in which your headquarters resides, or you may find the capitalization available from the country you are moving your business into. From the startup cost to funding the exit strategy, your business plan needs to research and effectively apply all of the following. Letters of credit. A standard commercial letter of credit is a document issued mostly by a financial institution used primarily in trade finance, which usually provides an irrevocable payment undertaking. The letter of credit can also be a source of payment for a transaction, meaning that redeeming the letter of credit will pay an exporter. Letters of credit are used primarily in international trade transactions of significant value for deals between a supplier in one country and a customer in another. Documentary draft. In international trading, a bill of exchange or commercial draft that is presented for payment with the required documents such as a clean bill of lading, certificate of insurance, and certificate of origin. Also called a documentary bill, documentary draft means a draft to be presented for acceptance or payment of specified documents, certain securities, or instructions for uncertified securities, or other certificates, statements, or the like are to be received by the draw E or other payor before acceptance or payment of the draft. Open account. An open account transaction means that the goods are shipped and delivered before the payment is due, usually in 30 to 90 days. Obviously, this is the most advantageous option to the importer in cash flow and cost terms, but is consequently the highest risk option for the exporter. Because of the intense competition for export markets, foreign buyers often press exporters for open account terms. In addition, the extension of credit by the seller to the buyer is more common abroad. Therefore, exporters who are reluctant to extend credit may face the possibility of the loss of the sale to their competitors. Venture capital financing. Venture capital financing is a type of financing by venture capitalists. The type of private equity capital is provided as seed funding to early stage high potential growth companies and more often after the seed funding round has gr is growth funding round, also referred to as series A round, in the interest of generating return through an eventual realization event such as an IPO or trade sale of the company. Overdraft protection, credit arrangement under which a bank automatically extends a short-term loan to cover a check's amount that exceeds the check writer's drawer's account balance. This arrangement ensures the check is not returned due to not sufficient funds, which may call for a criminal charge. Line of credit, an arrangement between a financial institution, usually a bank, and a business that establishes a maximum loan balance that the bank will permit the borrower to maintain. The borrower can draw down on the line of credit any time as long as it does not exceed the maximum set in the agreement. The advantage of a line of credit over a regular loan is that interest is not usually charged on the part of the line of credit that is unused, and the borrower can draw on the line of credit at any time. Depending on the agreement with a financial institution, the line of credit may be classified as a demand loan, which means that any outstanding balance will have to be paid immediately at the financial institution's request. Term loan. A loan from a bank for a specific amount that has a specified payment schedule and a floating interest rate. Term loans almost always mature between 1 and 10 years. For example, many banks have long-term loan pro programs that offer businesses the cash they need to operate from month to month. Often a business will use the cash from a term loan to purchase fixed assets such as equipment used in its production process. Government loan. A government-backed loan is defined as a loan subsidized by the government, which protects lenders against defaults on payments, thus making it easier for lenders to offer potential borrowers lower interest rate. There are number, numerous types of government-backed loans, which vary dependent on the status of the borrower. Government grant. A financial award given by the federal, state, or local government to an eligible grantee. Government grants are not expected to be repaid by the recipient. Grants do not include technical assistance or other forms of financial assistance such as a loan or loan guarantee, an interest rate subsidy, direct appropriation, or revenue sharing. There is typically a lengthy application process to qualify and can be approved for a government grant. Most recipients are required to provide periodic reports on their grants prog project's progress. Government Contract Subcontract 
Government contracts are agreements that outline business transactions between companies and government entities. For example, the U.S. federal government and its various agencies procure more than $300 billion each year in more than 4,000 categories. The U.S. government will give contracts to U.S. companies operating overseas. Furthermore, many nations allow and even encourage businesses from foreign countries to submit proposals from their government contracts. Businesses also enter into foreign markets as subcontractors to other companies that obtained an overall contract. Angel Investors and Networks A type of venture capital financing, an angel investor or angel, also known as a business angel or informal investor, is an affluent individual who provides capital for a business startup, usually in exchange for convertible debt or ownership equity. A small but increasing number of angel investors organize themselves into angel groups or angel networks to share research and pool their investment capital. Joint venture. A joint venture is a business agreement in which parties agree to develop for a finite time a new entity and new assets by contributing equity. They exercise control over the enterprise and consequently share revenues, expenses, and assets. There are other types of companies such as JV Limited by Guarantee, Joint Ventures Limited by Guarantee with partners holding shares. Strategic Alliance. A strategic alliance is, form, is a formal relationship between two or more parties to pursue a set of agreed upon goals or to meet a critical business need while remaining independent operators. Thank you to Wikipedia, BusinessDictionary.com, USLegal.com, and Investopedia provi for providing the detail of these terms and concepts. This concludes business training video module, financing and capitalizing your international business. Thank you.